What's up guys, my name is Drake and today I'm going to be showing you three steps to write unique and interesting melodies that I used on my upcoming single Envy off of the album Cardinal. So as you can see I have FL Studio open and I've already got my chords for the song laid out underneath and they are muted. So as you can see we're working in C major and the first chord is C, second chord is G major, move on to A minor and over to G major again. So the first thing you want to do before you even get started is copy a note from each of these chords up top. So we're going to use C for our first note, uh, which is the 1 in the C major chord. Then we're going to go up to the G for the G major. And instead of going to the A for the A minor, we're actually going to move to the C again, which is the 3rd of the A minor chord. And then we're going to go to the D, which is the 5 of the G chord. So the first step is to syncopate your melody. And syncopating is the accenting of an offbeat. So as you can see, we're in 4-4 four, four time. And what that means is that you count on every fourth note. So you'll count 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Over and over again. Now the offbeat will actually be in between the notes. So for example, 1 and 2 and 3 and and that's in between notes. And you can break that down even further to eighth notes, 16 notes, 30 second notes, and so on. So how do you syncopate it? Well, an easy way to do that is to shorten one note and extend another. So I'm gonna actually do that here with the C chord. I'm gonna shorten it and then extend this G so that it bleeds over into our C chord. And actually creates a little bit of anticipation for the next chord coming up, which is the G. And then you can do that as many times as you want. Um, whatever you see fit, you can go ahead and listen to it a couple times through and see what you like. And I'm actually going to do it again over here just to create a little bit of symmetry, create a musical idea, which is called a motif. And then you go ahead and move on to step two whenever you're ready. And step two is going to be removing your perfect intervals. What is a perfect interval? A perfect interval is a fourth, a fifth, or an octave in between your notes. So as you can see here is a good example. Um, the C and the G are first two notes. A G is actually five steps above a C in the key of C major. As you can see, this is one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to the G. So how do you remove a perfect interval? Well, an easy way to do that is to actually put a note in between. And you can do that by either putting a second, a third, a sixth, or a seventh in between them. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to shorten the C and put in E in between them. And an E is the third of the C chord. So as you can see, we don't have a fourth or a fifth or an octave in between any of these notes right here. But you can see that there is another perfect interval right here between the G and the C again when the C drops back down. So we could copy a C in there again, just like this, but we're going to go for a little bit of variety here, and we're actually going to make it a sixth instead of a third. So we're going to drop it all the way down to an A. And this removes all of your perfect intervals in this melody. And you can do this as many times as you want to, depending on how many you have, or you could even leave some in there if you'd like. Just listen to see what you like. So the third step is to actually insert perfect intervals. And I know you might be thinking, why would I insert perfect intervals if I just remove them? Well, we're trying to create something unique and interesting. And sometimes in order to do that, you need to build something, remove it, and then rebuild it again. And you can do this as many times as you want because sometimes you'll come up with something you never would have originally thought to do. And this is one of the strategies I'd really like to do is to build, break it down, and rebuild it again. So where can we put perfect interval? Well, I see this right here as a good opportunity to put one here because we haven't actually touched the second half of the melody yet. So I'm going to shorten the C and actually put a G up here, which we've already established is five steps above the C, creating a perfect fifth. And you can do this as many times as you want as well. It's all up to you. This is your song your melody, do it as you please. 
So now that we've gone through all three steps, you might want to keep in mind that uh, you want a little bit of symmetry in your melodies if you really want it to be a catchy melody that sticks in your listeners' heads. So in order to create a catchy melody, you want to have motifs or short musical ideas. As you can see, we've already kind of created a motif here by extending this G over into this C chord and extending this D over in this A chord. But you can do that also by copying little ideas like this one right here when it goes from a 1 to a 3 to a 5 in the C chord. So where else can we put something similar to this 1, 3, 5? Well, I see a good opportunity right here where we did the same thing over here. So we can just shorten the C, put an E in between, and there you go, you've created a motif. And this is something that your listeners are going to recognize subconsciously right away, and it's going to stick in their head a little bit. So that's a pretty easy way to apply these three steps into writing your own melodies. Um, it's something that I frequently use, and I use it on my upcoming single, Envy, which is actually out August 17th. It'll be for free on my website, which I will link down below, and it'll be right here on my YouTube channel. So I actually wanted to reveal the cover of my album Cardinal, which we'll be releasing as well. Um, but, and I'll do that right before I play through. But if you've learned anything through this video, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll show you the album cover for Cardinal. So I'll go ahead and give you guys the final playthrough of our melody we just created. And I'll see you guys next time.